What's up guys, I'm gonna switch things up right today. I'm gonna show you my garden in our back. My wife, she mostly, mostly takes care of that. I wanted to give you an idea of what kind of plants that we have and how we've been doing. It's uh, early August now. We're going into the second week of August next week. So I just wanna give you guys a little update on how our garden is doing. So let's get started. So before we actually get into our garden in our backyard, we have a bunch of uh, raspberries right here. Um, we got these raspberry bushes down in Hamilton, New Jersey. I think you guys have probably heard me talk about Hamilton before. It's known as the blueberry capital of the world. Um, there's mo more blueberries there than a lot of places uh, in, the, in, the, in the U.S. per, per se. Um, Tuckahoe Turf Farms is actually located there. That's where I'm using my grass seed this year. I got the, my grass seed from there. But we've had really good luck with these raspberries this year. Um, I think they look really great right now. Uh, the kids, they just love to come and pick this. They'll come out here and they'll just pick these by hand and they'll just put them right in their mouth. Um, but we've had a really, a lot of good luck with these raspberries. I think this is our second or third year now with these raspberry bushes and they just spread and uh, we've had very good luck with them so far. So now we're gonna go into my backyard now and I'll show you what we got back on, on back here. And I think you guys probably uh, saw, or if you haven't seen, I'll leave a link above to my video that I did on my DIY uh, drip irrigation for my three raised beds behind me. And just about everything that we have vegetable wise um, is on a drip irrigation. Um, it's a really great thing. If you're gonna do a big garden, I highly recommend you do a drip irrigation. It just saves you a lot of time in watering. You just set it up on a timer. Um, and you don't have to worry about it. It's very inexpensive. It's very easy to do. You only need a couple tools to put it together. Um, so check out that video above if you're interested in a drip irrigation. So like I said, we have three raised beds in our backyard. Uh, they're made out of two by sixes. Um, they're really nice. They're uh, Douglas fir, I think. We didn't want any kind of chemically uh, treated uh, boards. Um, we put topsoil in both of these um actually i think it was a compost that that we put in here and each one of these beds required a, one yard of compost it was a lot of work when we first put these in when we uh moved in um but we didn't want to use pressure treated wood just because we try to be organic in our yard um we don't like having any kind of pressure treated stuff especially with the plants that we have um, we don't treat our plants with anything we just let mother nature take its course and as you can see here um, this cabbage plant, it's been eaten up by some of these caterpillars that we have back here. But my wife, we don't like killing anything off. Um, they become butterflies a lot of times, so we are fine with that. But as you can see here, we have a, an array of different plants in our garden. Um, they really love doing this stuff. Uh, my mother-in-law and my mom, uh, my mom, my mother-in-law and my wife, um, they just love coming out here and taking care of these plants. So we have an onion plant right here. Basically, you can cut these up and you can put these in, you know, pasta salads, you know, things of that nature. I'm not the best when it comes to cooking. My wife does most of that. We have some tomato plants as we come in here next. We have some, we have a lot of grape tomato plants throughout our yard. We love grape uh, tomatoes. And if you're familiar, Jersey, they're really famous for their Jersey tomatoes. They are just simply the best. You can't beat Jersey tomatoes. We have some basil right here. We make, uh, you know, sometimes we'll make pesto or we'll just put these in our pasta when we make pasta. And then as we come back here, we have some different string bean pea plants up here. We have some corn down here. We don't plant a ton of corn. And then over here, we have an array of some mint over here. We have some more kind of mint right here. I'm not the best with the plants. Like I said, my wife mostly does the plant stuff. And if you can see here, we have a really big, tall sunflower. We have a bunch of sunflowers. These ones have already bloomed, obviously. They're starting to lean over now. And again, we have some string. We have some pea-type plants right here. And we have some more mint stuff up here in the front. And like I said, these sunflowers, man, they get so tall. I mean, look at them. And this one over here, you can see this one, nice bloom. As you can see, you know, sunflowers, they like to bloom towards where the sun's coming. Our sun kind of comes up over here 
and it sets obviously on the other side. So we went and we did over this raised bed. I'm gonna go over to this raised bed now. We have some different kind of flowers right here. I really don't know the name. Like I said, I'm not the best. In the back over there, we have some asparagus plants we planted uh, last year. And we had some really great crop this year from that. But look at these sunflowers. I mean, look how thick this trunk is on this sunflower. I mean, it's crazy how they grow. And then back over here, we have some kale back there. My wife loves making kale salad. And then back here, these are all grape tomatoes. Like I said, we love our tomatoes. We love these grape tomatoes. The kids, they'll just come up. They'll just literally just pick them right off. Sometimes they'll just eat them right here. Um, these are blueberries. These have not been going really well. Um, it's tough because we don't have a really sunny part of our yard that stays sunny all day. So these, um, we had to transplant them this year. And um, hopefully they'll take next year. If not, we might rip them out and put something else in here. So as we come down the line here, we looked at the blueberries that aren't doing well. We come over here to a little flower garden that my wife has put together. We have Black Eye Susans right here. If you're familiar with South Jersey, we have a college called Roan University. Their colors are actually based on that plant. Story says that they were uh, Roan was built on a field of Black Eye Susans. So that's where you get that yellow and brown color for the school. And then over here, my wife was telling me last night that this plant's called Dark Knight, which is pretty awesome name for a plant or for a uh, flower plant right here. And then as we come over here, we just put these three beds in this year. They're all drip irrigation in here, which is really cool. You have these little drip emitters in here and the water just flows throughout and they drip you know, every few inches. So highly recommend drip irrigation again. We have some basil right here. We have a, a couple of different flower plants uh, throughout here. We have one over here. We have one right here. We have some grape tomatoes as well throughout all here. My wife likes to complement the plants by putting in things that are going to grow together, that are good to grow together. That's why she has some cucumbers right here. You can see the one right here. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take you on the other side of the pool over here. Uh, we just put in a couple plants this year, so I'm going to show you what we got going on over there next. So this is the other side of our yard. As you can see, we have grasses that are alongside of our, our pool area over here. We have had them in for a couple years now. You just cut them down at the end of the season and they grow back up nice and tall. We believe this is a pumpkin plant over here. We did have a pumpkin that we just left here and deteriorated. So more than likely the seeds probably went down in the soil. So we're thinking that, that this is either a melon possibly or a pumpkin. We definitely know that this vine right here is a pumpkin or not a pumpkin, but a melon, a watermelon. And as you can see back there, we got one growing there. We got another one growing over there. So we got a couple of these vines going throughout. We think this is a pumpkin. We believe this is a jack-o'-lantern jack one. You, get, you just get these seeds at Home Depot and you can plant them. And then we got some more vines throughout here with our grasses. And then coming over here, this is our back flower bed over here. Um, we have some mint over here that's growing. And then over here, we just planted some wild strawberries. And I have a drip irrigation line that runs right down the middle of them. So we have those going down this fence line back here. And again, we have some nice grass plants back here as well. What's really nice about these grass plants is you just cut them down at the end of the year and they grow back every year. So just a quick video today. I wanted to give you guys a little, you know, go around on my yard, show you off our garden, what we have got going. We've had some good crop this year. We've had some bad crop. It happens. Mother Nature, you can't control it. Um, but the drip irrigation is a game changer. So go check out that video. I'll leave a link above in the eye and I'll leave a link below in the video description for that um, drip irrigation. So go check out that video. I know I keep talking a lot about it, but it really does save you time. Um, it's inexpensive. Like I said, you hook it up to a Rainbird timer, a Melnor timer, um, and you just have it scheduled to whatever you want, however long you want. Um, it's a really great thing. So go check that out. And if you notice, I've been wearing a Lawn Shark shirt today. Um, so go check out his channel. 
uh, the lawn shark. Uh, Dino is a great guy. He's one of the guys I followed early on when I wanted to start my YouTube channel. He has a lot of great content as well on his channel. He uses a lot of similar products to what I use on my lawn. So go check out his channel. I'll leave a link below in the video description. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, make sure you leave them below. I'll get back to you. I can help you out with the drip irrigation. If you have any questions about the plants that I used today or the plants that I showed you, um, I can help you out as well if you have any questions on that kind of stuff. If you like today's content, make sure you smash that like button. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm so other people can find my channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing to my channel. I have a lot of great content. I'm gonna have more to come for the fall overseed. Uh, if you're interested in the grass seed I'm going to be using for the fall overseed, check out this video right here. It's all about the grass seed I'm going to be using this year and why I'm using it. And also, if you like the Lancy peat moss spreader and you're trying to figure out how many peat moss bags you're going to need with the, the Lancy peat moss spreader, the 24-inch model, that's what I bought this year to help me out with my fall overseed, uh, check out this video right here. It's how to calculate out how many bags you're going to need for your square footage of your house. It's a really helpful video. And also, if you're new, hit that subscribe button right here so you don't miss out on future content. And I'll see you in the next one.